Hey, I'm Cynthia B and welcome to my channel. I'm a music artist and I'm also here to help you level up and let go. Leveling up your vibration to become the person who you want to be and to let go of all the baggage that is preventing you from becoming who you want to be. Today's topic of the day has to do with jealousy. How to get over jealousy. I used to be a sort of jealous person in regards to other music artists. I started my musical journey about five to six years ago in China. When I had first come to China, I was shy. I couldn't really talk to anybody. I was always in the corner. I felt bad about myself. So that's how people would treat me. And that's why I actually ran away to China. But China was the place where I really got to blossom and start to become the person who I said that I wanted to be. And that was through music. Music gave me a voice. Music made me feel important. And I was doing shows and traveling all throughout China being a music artist but when I would look back in America about the music artists who were hot like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, I would feel so jealous. I would feel like oh my god why are they so big? I felt like I should take their spot. I felt like I was more talented than them but why weren't people seeing my shine? One, it's because honestly, truly, I didn't believe in myself. I'd make songs and I would constantly put myself down about how bad they are, how bad of an artist I was. And I was also kind of being controlled by my mentor, censored essentially about what I should say and what sort of person that I wanted to become. So I felt stuck. Stifled. So I looked at those other popular music artists as, wow, they got to do their thing. Why isn't that me? I would just hate. I would just always talk badly about them. But really, it's because I wasn't operating fully in my craft and my gift. I wasn't believing in myself. If I was believing in myself fully, I would have been working super, 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 super hard to make sure that I'm getting in those places. A lot of the time, people who are more successful than you in your field, Field, it's because they have tried more. So when I looked at their discography just to see how many songs they had, they had 50 to 100. I had 10. I had to really look at myself and be like, wow, how can I compare myself to them, feel like I'm on their level when I haven't even made the same amount of songs they have? How can I say that I'm as good as them when I haven't put in the work that they have? How can I really compare myself to them? Why am I hating? How can I be hating when I have only done 10% of the work? And how can I be hating when I was only an artist part-time? I'd make songs maybe once a week and then half the time I would never want to share them with people. I was embarrassed to say I was a music artist as well. I was still hiding myself. So although I felt like I had found a voice because inside I had not truly let go of the feelings of inadequacy that I had about myself, I still couldn't share my music, but I would hate on other artists who were bigger than me because I felt like I should take their spot. So really, when I audited my own self, my own actions, my own behaviors to see, am I really acting like a music artist or a part-time artist? I started switching and working on music every single day, two hours a day. And in a short amount of time, three to four months, I improved rapidly more than I ever would have improved because I was putting in that energy, that time to really understand how to make a good song, how to make a great song. And my songs from then on just started to improve, whether it was Confused, a song about heartbreak and being confused of being in a relationship. That's when I was going through my pop music phase. It's not a phase. I'm still making pop music or a song like Twisted where I'm really just talking about how great I am and how I still got a buzz like light year after five years of being in China. Those things came out of me working my butt off and not thinking about Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Saweetie, whoever else, female rapper who I was feeling jealous of because I saw them operating in their spirit, doing their best when I wasn't doing my best. Now that I'm doing my best, now that I'm really putting out music, now that I'm working on music every day, I have nothing to be jealous of because I know that they're on their own path and my path is uniquely mine. That's it. That's all I need to focus on. My path. Was I better than yesterday, than last week, than last month? Am I more efficient? Am I getting more things done? And not just about more things done, but the quality of things done? Am I really a full-time artist now? And I can confidently say, yes, I am. 
So when I make it to the top and I am in front of many voices and many people, I know that I worked for that and I've been practicing and preparing for that point. So I know I'll be able to entertain, talk to my fans and just feel good about myself because I know I'm operating in my purpose. No need for hate, no need for jealousy. I don't care about what anyone else is doing. I would rather congratulate than hate because they show me that what they're accomplishing is possible. Just like years and years ago, there was a thing that humans could not beat the four minute mile. When the guy beat the four minute mile, a month later, another runner beat the four minute mile. Whatever they're doing, it now shows me that I can do it. So no need to hate, no need to be jealous. I can take my same own road and get to those same opportunities or different opportunities or better opportunities that are made for me. So if you're operating in jealousy because you're feeling insecure about where you're at, really work harder on what you're trying to do. You're not going to have time to hate when you're working just as hard as those other people. You're not going to have time to be jealous when you're happy with yourself and what you have. You're just going to be you and do you. And that's how I was able to level up and raise my vibration from jealousy. And that's how I was able to let go of those feelings of jealousy because I had something for myself that was going on that I was proud of. And everybody should be proud of whatever they're doing. So anyways, thanks for watching my video. Please check out my music. I'm everywhere. It's a D of B. If you're interested in listening to songs about women empowerment, relationships, and just leveling up and letting go. So thanks for watching and talk soon.